All right, so now we're getting into it. Hopefully the arena doesn't close. Sheik versus Hero. All right, so now Roses is actually in my Wi-Fi crew, Hero player. Very good, got second place last week to Hummus. Actually outperforming their seed in the process. I think they're currently on point with their seed right now. Kako outperforming his seed as well. Very good Sheik player. It's not the only Sheik player in the bracket as well, which is funny enough. Uh, yeah, now see, he's gonna side B to ledge trap. I wanna see how good his combos will be on Wi-Fi, if I'm gonna be honest, because that, that's gonna make or break this, I feel like, is how much you're gonna be able to abuse the hero before he just kinda cheeses you out of a stock. Ooh, lost his jump. He might be die for this. Can he get the edge guard? He does not get the edge guard and almost dies for it. <laughs> Ooh. That's a physical hitbox, I guess? I thought it was a projectile. Huh, interesting. Didn't get reflected, but, you know. Yeah, Rose is moving around. The wave bounces and everything. Kekka's got a lot of ground to make up, because, uh... I don't know, there's probably a kill confirm he's got up his sleeve that'll kill him right now, but yeah, it's, it's still gonna be rough. Hero just kinda kills you so early. Ooh, that caught him from so far away! Dude, that's crazy. That The uh, the wind thing just got eaten by bouncing fish, let's go. He's dead. That's a confirm. I know that. Something... I don't know, who, who is it? Uh, Void? Yeah, Void's the one that does that. Did he just crouch under his up tilt? Man, Sheik's broken. People aren't ready to hear it yet. Uh, he's, he is smash fouring him right now. <laughs> he's just bearing in place, not letting him off the ledge. Oh, uh, he lost his jump. That's not good, man. I don't think he has his jump. He never touched the ground, I'm pretty sure. He could die. I, he might die off this interaction. That's crazy. He made it past. <laughs> All right. That was a bit of a panic option right there. He didn't really didn't do anything. He just kind of stood there and grabbed in place. But getting a little low on MP too, probably from all the edge guarding. I feel like that's probably the strat in this matchup. Is Sheik is like actually just not killing him, just keeping him off the stage until he doesn't have MP left to come back. Because if you do that, then he doesn't get to do stuff like this, where he kills you at like 100. Because <laughs> now, Sheik is at death percent, and Hero is maybe at death percent. Ah, uh, he missed it. The wrong way. I'm guessing he wanted to be reverse or a wave bounce. That was a little weird. Slightly off timed. Ooh, okay, I guess he doesn't get anything off of it that percent. <laughs> Every time he gets the like needles, I'm just kind of like, man, he could be dead right now. Uh, but he's not going to get any needles now. He's got bounce on. <clears throat> also at kill percent, hero could definitely just kill him at zero, and it would be very funny. Ooh, now that's some Smash 4 right there. Ah, oh, God. Jesus, I hate sleep mode on this thing. Ah, uh, that's not a good up on the stage. Ooh, Roses went for a re-grab or something. I don't think he was going to be able to get grabbed. Oh, he could jump over that like that? I'm surprised I didn't catch him. I'm just used to playing big characters, I guess. I just get smacked out of the air by that move like 100% of the time. Yeah, Kakaru has got some good movement here. Kind of weaving in and around the projectiles, not really getting hit by anything. I see if he can clutch out this edge guard. Ah, uh, he got the zoom. <laughs> all that hard work, all for nothing. Good stuff to Roses, though. Not panicking in the situation. I feel like a lot of people would panic. Oh, he was going for it. He knew he wanted to come in. Oh, how did that not hit him? That was a yikes, man. That was like a. That should have hit, I feel like, unless it just didn't have a hitbox or something, because it touched a shield, I guess? I don't know. 
That was kind of crazy. Oh, that was a very, very overzealous back air right there. It almost hit, but now this is going to happen. Now you're in the sheet vortex again. Ooh, we went super high for that. This is kind of rough now for Sheik. You're in like a bad spot here. His hero can kill you off of moves. And you're going to have to do something. Kind of committal to kill the hero. Oh, is he dead to that? Interesting. Down tilt to up air. Good stuff. Tick hacker taking game one. I, I really do not know how this matchup goes. I don't know enough about Sheik, and I, I mean, I know basic knowledge about Sheik and like basic knowledge about Hero. So like, on paper, it probably seems like Sheik just beats up Hero for really easily. But in practice, it's probably kind of like the Smash 4 DK matchup, where like on paper, DK loses 100% of the time. But in practice, it doesn't actually work like that. Sometimes you get grabbed at 40 and you die. You know, humans aren't perfect. So sometimes you mess up, and sometimes they get a dumb, like, crit F smash or something on you and you die. Staying the same characters, we are going to Town and City this time. <sighs> I'm guessing Rosas probably wanted a little more room to kind of keep the sheep pressure off of him. Which honestly, I didn't really feel like Kako was exerting a whole lot of pressure. He was just kind of standing back and waiting. He wasn't like in his face constantly. He just kind of stands back, waits, bait and punish type of stuff, you know. He doesn't have to commit. His moves are lagless. He doesn't need to go in super hard. As long as he has his conversions off his stray hits down, he really doesn't have to do too much in this matchup, I feel like. Hero's slow enough. Sheik is very fast. In fact, I think it's the other way around. I think Roses needs to get in on the Sheik. If anything. Oh, that was almost a really nice trump. I see the, uh, oh, he just crashed under it. The crab walk. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, see, like that. That's what I was, ex ooh, I think that was a misclick. I think he wanted a whack or something, because he was also right there on the menu. Just waiting on the platform. Patient play. Ooh, that was almost a really good conversion. Just barely missed it. I think it was just a little too low. Or high, or whatever. I... Ooh, really nice down smash. That's actually really fast. <laughs> I don't feel like I see a lot of people knowing that how fast that move is, and that was a really good conversion there. Bouncing fish. Classic. Ooh, trip off the back air. Ah, uh, just barely missed a... See, he just kind of steps back and waits. Like, he knows Rosa's is going to press a button, so he just kind of steps back, waits him out, see what he does. Really good play. Ooh, drop shield. Don't think he was ready for that second hit to come out like that, I guess. Ooh, down tilt. Let's see what he can get off of this. Ah, nothing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I hate that so much. I'm just... I forget it's a thing. Especially commentating these things, I forget it's even more of a thing until it's too late. Red is jump. Can he do something about it? Oh, he's just going for the ledge trap. I don't think he wants to mess with the up B anymore. He almost got killed at like 60 last game by it, and I don't think he really wants to deal with it. Ah, really nice. Cover the neutral get up. Ooh, and he was charged enough for that one. Ooh, you got a DI away on that, man. Can't be holding in against Sheik. Granted, it doesn't hurt too bad at first until you're off stage and you never get to come back on. Oh, I see he's trying to cover his jump with the up tilt. Just staying out of range though. Wow, that just reaches. <laughs> I feel like Roses should stop wasting MP on like all the other um, the magic moves, you know. And it, you should focus on side because like if anything, that just kind of 
covers him with the range he's standing at and weaving in and out of, your side B is going to be, like, safe there, I feel like, you know? I mean, yeah, if you start using it too much... Oh, that was a really unfortunate um, platform placement. <laughs> he just steps back and waits. Uh... I want to see some, like, drag down up air shenanigans. Oh, he's dead. He is so dead to that. Good old reactable projectile. Very reactable. Totally not uh, too fast to react to or anything. Oh. And he's off stage against the Sheik again. What will happen? Nothing. He just keeps crashing under it, like... <laughs> the flex. Oh, wow. I don't know if he missed, like, dashing farther or what. Ooh, yeah, he tried to catch him for going in too far. But as I said before, Kako really just does not have to commit. He will just sit back. Ooh, that was... yeah. That side be strong, man. It wasn't that strong in Smash 4, was it? I feel like it wasn't. It's just so strong. <laughs> Game 2, going to Kako, Roses has got to make some, like, major adjustments. I don't know, man. Like I said, on paper, it's probably super chic favor. But you got to abuse the fact that people aren't perfect. you got to look for his mistakes. Because he's going to mess up at some point. And do something that has, like, a little more lag than what he would want it to be. And once he does that, that's when you have to go in and just go ham on him. Because, like, it, you just can't let him breathe once you get that. Ready? All right, game three. Let's see how it goes. Let's see now. He, now he's kind of going in on him a little bit. I wonder if you can crouch under that. Can you crouch under the side B? If you can crouch under the side B, then I take back everything I said about side B spam being the move here. Because, like, if he can just crouch and crawl under it, then, you know, that's just GG's. Like, what do you do? <laughs> oh, he's fiending. See, Roses is fast on the menu. Like, I don't know. I, I've seen a lot of heroes play, but Roses is like one of the fastest on that menu. Like, he pulls it up, he cycles through like each one, and then picks the right one. Like, he just knows. I don't know if he just reads way faster than like most other people or what, but he's pretty good about that. I can, I can appreciate it. Like, granted, most heroes I see play are, you know, pretty good at like all the movement tech and stuff that he does too, but like, ooh, that was a really, really good back here. See, that's what I'm talking about right there, the overcommitment. He went too far in. Maybe but not something so punishable as a forward smash, but you know. You're getting the start. He's starting to get the hang of it. It's looking a lot better in the first two games already. Oh, Jesus. That was such a weird hit of the down tilt. Interesting. Can he confirm all of this? Okay, no, he can't. I feel like there's a... I don't know if it's like a mid percent you can confirm off of that. It doesn't kill, but it's like bigger damage because you like F throw bouncing fish or something. It's probably not worth it to stale the bouncing fish like that, but you know, it's always an option. Oh, this isn't looking good. He, yeah, <laughs> Sheik is just so oppressive in advantage. It's so hard, especially when you're just like a slow character like Hero. Like, what do you even do? The whack. He went for it. Ooh, up Ooh, yeah, see. Now, I don't know how ca familiar Kako is with uh, heroes, but if he does not watch himself, he can get comboed off of that, especially she, because she's a fast faller, and I'm pretty sure it works even better on her. 
but you can get like uh, a B1 out of shield into up tilt on the platform, and you'll just die, especially if they have that buff that boosts the, uh, the knockback or whatever. I've also seen Rose's fish for up smash out of that. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. If it is, that's even better, because it'll just kill you at absurd percents, because even with that crit, up smash is very strong. Ah, uh, see, there we go. Ooh, that was... Ooh, he was standing a little too close for that. Really unfortunate part on Rose. Ooh, but he gets right back! Oh, it's the last stock situation now. Let's go. Good stuff on Rose's part. Starting to utilize the side B at least, but uh, he might be a little put off to that because he just ate 38% for trying to side B again. Ah, uh, no, that's good. I mean, I feel like that's what you have to do. You have to keep the Sheik away from you because <laughs> you can't let her do this. Because once she gets in, then this happens. And now you're off stage, and it's just a problem to get off. Yeah, you're not crouching under that one. Never in a million years. That hitbox is actually unfairly sized. <laughs> Especially the wind box will pull you into the giant hitbox as well. Ooh, you might die to this. Oh, you're definitely dead to that. Really good stuff on Rose's part. He needed that so bad because it was looking a little rough there for a bit. Good stuff to Rose is making some adaptations there. He started using the side beam more. So I'm thinking that might be the play. But you can't, like, even if you do use it and you spam it, like, super bad or whatever, he, he can just get in. If he reads you're doing it, she's small and, like, fast enough, I feel like she can just get over it and put you in disadvantage. tired it's not even that late <laughs> commentating these things to kind of wear you down a little bit it seems like Game four. Can Roses bring it back? That is the question. That God, it is going to be hard. This Kako does not want to let him do it. Three, two, one, go! Going to Kalos. Probably for the walls, I would imagine. Because I bet Sheik wants to just wall jump or wall cling or I bet you can get some nasty gimps off of a wall cling like jump off Nair or something. Oh nice parry. See now that he's just getting damaged. Like she doesn't do that much damage but she just hits you enough that it's like still a lot of damage no matter what. That side B at ledge is so good. <laughs> so obnoxious to deal with. Like you just have to pick an option. Like, you're just gonna have to get off that ledge, otherwise you're about to get hit by that and die. There we go. Kaiko's gonna have to start respecting that side B a little bit more. Cause I think Rose has figured it out that he's, his range he's playing in and out of is the perfect range to just get smacked by that side B. overzealous on that up smash I mean yeah it would have caught his jump but I don't know <laughs> it was a little risky I don't I don't feel like condoning the idea of playing that risky around hero is chic 
Ah, really good. Caught him. I don't know if they caught a jump or just actually scooped him up that far, but still good stuff to Kako. Ooh, see, like right there, I think you have to do the side B2. Because he just kind of ran through side B1. It was. Mm, I don't know about that up smash. Like, yeah, it's strong, but like. Ooh, that was really clean. Let's see, I think that's why he picked Kalos. He wants to attack, man. What a fiend. The pressure never ends. Wow, what a weird angle for that to go. I don't think I've ever seen it go down like that, huh? <laughs> nice parry on Rose's part. He's still in disadvantage, though. Ah, there we go. Got to the ground. Reset neutral. Got the up tilt, because he was still in the air. Good stuff. You know, bounce is it's probably like your best option at getting off the ledge, now that I think about it. I was about to say, it doesn't feel like it's that useful. See, like right there, a B1 combo into up tilt. Dude, that up smash is so good, but that hitbox is actually kind of bad. I will not lie. It, like, it, it doesn't have a thing like Marts where he scoops his, like, his feet to like shoot you into the up smash. I think he could crouch under that. That's so weird. This matchup is just weird, man. I'm just... I keep finding weird things I didn't know were things. Like, while in the middle of talking about stuff, and I'm like, ah, whatever. Just matchup things. I should not have jumped. That was not a good thing, because now you're getting... bazinga off stage. Except he saved you, so it's okay. Probably could have just wall clinged and watched you fall to your death right there. But I think he figured you were gonna be strong. Ooh, he comboed into the back air off the side B. Ah, Jesus, I don't remember which one's which. Which one's the damage one and which one's the knockback one. But I think you actually take more knockback in the in the knockback one as well. Kind of like similar to uh, Smash Water Shulk. Oh, you did. Yep, there it goes. Well, Kako taking it 3-1 over Roses. stuff to both people. Very weird matchup. Uh, I have a feeling I'll probably get to see it again, considering Roses might make it back to Grand Finals again. If not, Sheik Forever is also still in the bracket. Probably a good chance they'll play. Uh, but good stuff to both of them. Kako in here though, because we're gonna get Kako 